What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know this is not the video you expected because normally on Sundays I put out the weekend watch video reporting about the box office. However, because this weekend is a four day holiday weekend and I want to be as accurate with the numbers as possible because this weekend it's going to be very important. So I've decided that weekend watch will be pushed back to either tomorrow or Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that in just a couple of days. So for today's video, I decided it's been so long since discount Blu-ray, so I figure why not, because there's so many amazing sales happening right now, so we are doing discount Blu-rays. And my main focus starting off with is Nicolas Cage. My man, Nick Cage, has a lot of movies on sale right now, so we're going to start off with a score to settle on Blu-ray for $6.88, and also Snake Eyes on Blu-ray for $6.99. Snake Eyes is decent. It's okay. I wouldn't put it in the top 10 of my favorite Nicolas Cage movies, but it's a decent movie. It's definitely worth $6.99. And then A Score to Settle. This is actually one of his lesser known movies, but I actually enjoyed this one when I had my Nicolas Cage watching month last November, and I was binging a bunch of movies of his that I'd never seen before. And a score to settle actually surprised me. I thought it was pretty decent. So $6.88. You can't really go wrong with that one. So if you enjoy Nick Cage like I do, then definitely pick up both of those. Moving on next to Pig on Blu-ray for $9.24. And also Butcher's Crossing on Blu-ray for $17.99. Now I did pre-order. I just I didn't say I shouldn't say pre-order. I should say I ordered Butcher's Crossing. There we go. And I'm looking forward to breaking that out of the package and checking that one out. And Pig, I did pick up a while ago when it was first released. A lot of people thought that movie was supposed to be something different and it wasn't. A lot of people expected it to be kind of like a John Wick type of movie, and it was not. And it seems like people were kind of disappointed. It is a slower moving movie, but I personally enjoyed it. I think Nicolas Cage gives an amazing performance in the film, so I do recommend this one to you as well. However, I will say, side note, you can find Pig on Blu-ray in Big Lots. They are out there. I was in Big Lots the other day and I found a copy of Pig for I think $4 or $5.99. So it is possible to find copies out there just a little bit cheaper. But just in case you don't have a Big Lots store near you, you only have Amazon as access, then there you go. At least it's under $10. So that's not too bad. All right, next up, we have the retirement plan on Blu-ray for $11.99 and also Mandy Blu-ray Steelbook for $14.99. Now, I still have to watch Mandy, so I can't comment about that one, but the retirement plan, that one was actually pretty decent. I didn't mind that one. It's not the best Nicolas Cage movie by any means. I kind of think those days have come and gone. I don't want them to be. I still want him to be at the top of his game, but I don't know. It's not the best. It's not a Nick Cage best, but it was all right. It was all right. So, you may want to wait just a little bit more for it to go down in price because I think it will. But if you're fine with $11.99, then go ahead and pick that one up. All right, now we have Color Out of Space. I believe this is the 4K Steelbook, but for some reason on Amazon, it's saying Blu-ray. But when you see it, it does say UHD slash BD, which means 4K Blu-ray. So I'm thinking this is the 4K Steelbook, okay? And considering that they're saying that $17.99 is half price of the original, then that of the original price, then that would mean a 4K Steelbook. So I believe this is the 4K Steelbook for Color Out of Space. So $17.99 for that one. I still have not watched that movie, so when I do, I'll give you my thoughts about that one in the future, but as of right now, I cannot say if that's a good or a bad movie. Then we have The Iron Claw. You know I love this movie. The Iron Claw Blu-ray, marked down right now to $14.96. Great price for that one. Definitely worth it. Pick it up. Movies and Sue approved. 
All right, Mad Max Fury Road. Furiosa is in theaters right now. Apparently it's not doing very well, but it is out there in theaters. So Mad Max Fury Road 4K is currently going for only $14.99 and Hypnotic with Ben Affleck on Blu-ray is going for $11.99. Now flipping over to J-Lo because Ben Affleck is with J-Lo but I'm not sure for how much longer because <laughs> divorce rumors are out in the air. No surprise there. But we do have a couple of J-Lo movies that are marked down in price. We have Marry Me on Blu-ray for only $4.99. If you guys waited out for this one, very smart of you, $4.99. And also Parker on Blu-ray. This is with my man Jason Statham. All my men today. We got Nick. We got Jason Statham. I love my guys. So Parker on Blu-ray as well for only $4.99. So great deals for those. Moving on to some Paramount Present titles. These are both Blu-rays. So we have Elizabethtown Blu-ray from Paramount Presents for $17.94. And also Just Another Girl on the IRT Blu-ray from Paramount Presents for $17.99. Now I do already own Elizabeth Town. That one is just okay. I wouldn't overly recommend it. Like, oh my God, it's so good. You need to have it. It's not like that. But if you're a fan of, you know, Kirsten Dunst, you think she's good in that movie. I think she is the best part of that movie. So then I would probably pick it up for her, for her performance if you're a fan of hers. But I wouldn't necessarily say you have to go out and get this movie. You know what I'm saying? And the other one, Just Another, Just Another Girl, I've never seen that movie. I've never even heard of it, to be honest, before, you know, the release of this from Paramount Presents. So I cannot comment on that one. All right, moving on to a couple of comedies. We have The Wedding Ringer on Blu-ray for only $9 and The Duff on, I forgot about this movie, The Duff on Blu-ray for only $7.81. Now we have Priscilla. Priscilla is still marked down to $7.50 right now on Blu-ray. So if you have not picked up this movie yet for $7.50, I don't know what you're waiting for because that is a dirt cheap price. So I would definitely go ahead and pick that one up if I were you. If you were ever interested in that movie, now is the time. Get it for $7.50. And then also Retribution on Blu-ray starring Liam Neeson for the same price of $7.50. Judas and the Black Messiah is up next. This is a fantastic film. Not enough people saw it in my opinion. So the Blu-ray currently is only $8 and $54 on Blu-ray is only $5.99. Very cheap price for that one. Duplicity is up next with Julia Roberts. Blu-ray is $7.19 and 3,000 Years of Longing on Blu-ray is currently only $10.99. Next up, we have some horror films. We have The Craft Legacy on Blu-ray for only $8.23 and also The Boogeyman Blu-ray for $9.96. Migration Blu-ray is marked down to $17.96, as well as Trolls Band Together, also on Blu-ray. Crimes of the Future Blu-ray is marked down to $13.19. However, I will say this is another title that has been floating out in big lots. I've seen pictures of it in videos for about $4 or $5.99. So if you're able to find that one as well, then definitely go for the big lots price. We also have Drag Me to Hell Blu-ray for $8.99. Now we have a couple of steelbooks. We have Chicago, one of my favorite musicals of all time. Chicago Blu-ray steelbook is currently $11.99 and Groundhog Day 4K steelbook is $21.06. Harriet 4K is currently going for $18.99 and The Muppets Take Manhattan 4K is $18.60. Finally ending the video today with a Private War Blu-ray for $9.99 and Malignant Blu-ray. I love this movie. Every time I watch it, I love it even more. So Malignant Blu-ray is currently $8.43. So those are just some of the deals and sales happening right now over at Blu-ray.com. So comment down below and let me know what you plan on picking up. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.